vacation, um, we did go to Gatlinburg and um, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg are right next to each other. They're like, I don't know, like 10 minutes apart. This is also um, where the Great Smoky Mountains are. Um, we went into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and did a couple really cool things. So I'm just gonna kind of talk about our trip a little bit and show you some of the things we got. Um, these two things I'm wearing are things we got on the trip. They're both my husband's. Um, I had him leave these home with me. He wanted to wear them to work actually, but I was like, no, I, I need to film this video. You have to leave them. So, um, yeah, he left them, but, um, this is a sweatshirt and it says Anakista. And then, um, below Anakista, it just says Gallenberg. Um, Anakista is, um, like an attraction in Gatlinburg. I'll talk about it a little bit later, but this hat is also from Anakista. It says Anakista right here. And, um, I love this patch on this hat. This is so cute. And I think this hat is really cute. I like the green. Um, sort of learn, you know, like about the 
zip lining for a while and then they take you on the zip line course um, and it just wasn't like totally in the mood to do that so we're probably gonna go back and do that another time but um, they also have a mountain coaster it's like a gravity coaster where you you get on like a little car thing and you ride it down the mountain we didn't do that either um, but they also have this nighttime event it's called Astra Lumina and it's actually right over here they're advertising it but it's really cool it's like a nighttime um, event that happens in the forest and it's like all kinds of lights and sounds and stuff um, and there's like a whole story that goes along with it and that you kind of read as you're walking through the woods and it was really fun um, but yeah this is just it's like a whole map and this part down here that's the where you walk through the forest for the Astra Lumina event and um, we really enjoyed that I would definitely go back to Anakista um, again for sure so um, another thing we did was we went to Dollywood um, which is like a theme park uh, um, Dolly Parton grew up in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee and um, she has a theme park in, um, in Pigeon Forge where she grew up and um, it's got a lot of cool things like in the theme park like you can see a replica of the home she grew up in um, the school where she went to school um, they have shows where um, like Dolly Parton songs are used um, and it's really cool the, the only thing is I do wish that there would have been more Dolly Parton um, like merchandise like to buy they had this really cool ornament shop for like Christmas tree ornaments and I wanted like a Dolly Parton ornament like I don't know her in one of her iconic um, you know, performance outfits and there were literally no dolly ornaments like I was like, I don't understand and there was just, there was not a whole lot of, of dolly merchandise like there was a little bit but in my mind I was just like why is there not more dolly stuff I mean, I'm in Dollywood like I want you to smack me in the face with dolly everything dolly, you know anyway um, we went during the, what was it called? Uh, Flower and Food Festival, which, um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I have celiac disease and I can't, um, eat a lot of, you know, like, food out that, that I haven't made myself that I don't know what's in it. Um, so I didn't have most of these things, but, um, they looked great really good like they were really beautiful um but yeah we we did like dollywood it's just i don't know that i would pay the money to go again because um in my opinion the rides were way too intense like it was too much it was loopy and upside down and over and over and over again upside down like and it just made me feel sick like both my husband and I were so nauseous um and we couldn't even go on all the rides because like halfway through the day we're like I feel so sick like I can't do this anymore <laughs> so um those kind of rides aren't for me I prefer um like Disneyland Disney World rides where there's more uh looking at things while you're on the ride like you know haunted mansion you're sitting in a little doom buggy and you're you're looking at things as you're going it's not about the loopies and swirlies and stuff um yeah like i'm not like afraid of the roller coasters it's just like i don't want to feel sick all day so there's that <laughs> but um yeah it, it was cool i'm glad we did it once but i don't think i would do it again my favorite thing at Dollywood was the train, the railroad. Um, I enjoyed riding on the train and seeing like the whole park and hearing what the 
person, um, you know, on the, the public address system was telling us about the, the train, like the engine came from the state of Alaska. It was used, um, in the war to move supplies and troops. Um, it was used in Skagway, Alaska, which is, I've actually been there. Um, and I found that really cool. Um, you know, that there's this train that was used in World War II and, um, it was serving people in the state of Alaska, um, where I've been and, and now I'm here in Tennessee riding this train that came from Alaska. Um, it's just really cool, but that, that was my favorite part of Dollywood was the train. Um, so I did want to show you, I got a, a couple things. This is kind of cheating because I actually got this the day before we left on our trip. And, um, it's, it's a Dolly shirt. Uh, it's just a t-shirt, a black t-shirt. It says Dolly. And I love this picture of her. That's like my favorite, my favorite picture of her. Um, she's so pretty. And that's what I wore to Dollywood. I wore it with my pink, um, kindness is cool hat. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cheating because I got that before we left, but I wanted to show it to you anyway because we're talking about, you know, Dolly Parton and, and I wore that to Dollywood. So, um, moving on to the things I actually got in, in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, um, this is what I got from Anakista. It's just a t-shirt. And it says Anakista. It's got that really pretty bear. Um, I love this t-shirt. It says Great Smoky Mountains um, at the bottom. And I love this so, so much. It reminds me of something you would see like in the state of Alaska. Like this design. And I just thought it was really pretty. Um, so then, I'm really excited about this. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the brand Puppy Love. But yeah, uh, it's a brand. They make t-shirts mostly. They have other stuff too, but they're most popular for their t-shirts and um i've always wanted one but i've only ever seen them online and i've been like oh, i don't really want to order it online you know um but they had these at dollywood the puppy love brand and i got one and i love it so much it's it's dolly Parton as a as a dog with her banjo it says dollywood and then puppy love and I love this so much. But yeah, I've, I've literally always wanted one of these shirts um, from this brand. They give 10% of their profits to rescue organizations to help rescue um, dogs. So I love that as well. So I had um, this was super cute. It was hot pink, and um, the dog on it looked like a s'more. Like it was layered like a s'more inside of the dog shape. Oh, and I wanted that one uh, so bad as well. But I was like, I'm a Dollywood. And I'm gonna get the Dollywood one. So um, yeah. So next, I'm gonna show you. I got these. Um, this sticker came with that shirt and it just says puppy love it's the it's the puppy love symbol i don't know what i'm gonna put this on yet but something i'm gonna put on something because i'm so thrilled to have a puppy love shirt and sticker and then my husband got this sticker it's a little arrowhead with people hiking and it says Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We have arrived. Um, 
which is really cute. He has a, a water bottle. It's like a, a metal water bottle and it's just plain metal. So he's been putting like stickers on it. So he got that one to add to his, his water bottle. And this one as well. It says um, Great Smoky Mountains. And it's, is this a, an elk or a deer? I'm not sure. But it's, it's really beautiful. It's like the same kind of design as that shirt I got with the bear. It looks like the same auth, um, author, artist. It looks like the same artist to me. Um, so then I wanted to show you this. We went and played mini golf um, one of the days. And these are the little um, sheets that you use to keep score while you're playing. And this one was from Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf. And this one is like um, like 1920s um, expedition themed. And it has like a whole story that you go through as you're going through the golf course. And um, the guy at the, at the front desk told us if we save these and we bring them back when we, like if we come, you know, come back and we bring these with us, we get to play um, another round of golf half off. So I was like, why not? I'll keep them. And um, I have this book that I keep in, in our travel trailer. Um, detailing like all of our trips and so I'm just gonna shove it in that book and you know keep it because we'll have it next time we're there because we'll be in the RV so and then I got a few postcards um I got a couple from Dollywood so I'll show you those first um this one that's a picture of that steam engine. They actually have two. Um, one is called Cinderella. That's the one we were on. And then the other one is called Klondike Katie. And they were both um, serving, um, you know, moving troops and supplies during World War II. Both of these steam engines um, in the state of Alaska. And then they were decommissioned after the war and they sat in a junkyard for a long time. I don't remember how long they said, but then they were rescued by Dollywood and restored and they move guests around the park now, but it, it's a real steam engine. Like they shuffle coal into it. There's a guy, um, shoveling coal into the engine and it works just like it always has, which is very cool. So that's the steam engine. And then um, this is the grist mill. It's an actual like working grist mill in Dollywood, which is just, well, they grind down grains, you know, to make flowers and, and such. Um, but it's pretty cool that it's actually like a working grist mill. And then the last one from Dollywood. This is a this is a church, and this church is inside Dollywood. They actually have like services at the church, um, like you could attend service on Sunday if you so wanted, and. Um, this church is named after the doctor who delivered Dolly Parton when she was a baby. So that's cool. Um, I got this one to send to my grandma because I know she would, she would like that. She would find that interesting. Um, and then I got a couple more. Um, these are all Great Smoky Mountain ones. So. I just thought this was cool uh, with the bears. It says Great Smoky Mountains. And then there's another bear one, <laughs> but they're, it's a little different. They're walking along this um, tree that 
that's fallen over in the Smoky Mountains are in the background. And then this one, it's that same artist um, that drew the sticker in my shirt. And I just thought it was really cool. So that's all, all the postcards I got. And then I have one more thing to show you. And it's this coloring book. It's an ASMR coloring book. Oh my gosh. It says, please, um, please wear headphones. And it's just really cool. It, it has, um, you know, pages for you to color. And then it also has, um, QR codes to scan. And you can listen to a certain sound that has to do with what you're coloring. Um, like while you're coloring. And then it also has like a whole section of recommended color palettes um, for the different um, coloring pages, which is kind of nice actually because sometimes it can feel overwhelming to me like having to choose the colors. 